Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Chris Griffin, and today I will be discussing the effects of inlet duct conditions on sound performance. In June of 2011, the ASHRAE Technical Committee on Room Air Distribution received a research product from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, which examined the different inlet conditions on different types of diffusers, both with and without dampers. Products from three different manufacturers were used in this study. The official name of the project was ASHRAE Research Project RP1335. The research project is 175 pages long and covers a lot of different topics. This podcast is going to focus on just a couple of the takeaways from this report. First case we will examine we'll call ASHRAE 70 installation. Manufacturers typically test in accordance with ASHRAE Standard 70 with straight rigid inlet duct which allows for a fully developed flow to enter diffuser when testing. This is typically a best case scenario in which the diffuser will function with the lowest pressure drop and the lowest sound. As the data from this condition is what is typically published, this is treated as a baseline with no additional adjustments for sound or pressure. The second case we will look at is exactly the same as the first case except we will add an opposed blade damper. We will use the same rigid straight duct as the first case. The damper is tested in the full wide open position. What RP1335 found from that set of tests is that the damper would drive the sound up by 1 to 4 NC depending on the airflow and the unit size. This makes sense as you are adding material into the airstream which is going to produce sound as well as disrupt the airflow slightly. The third case or series of cases we will look at is a little bit different. We substitute flex duct for the rigid straight duct and have a 90 degree elbow a set distance from the diffuser. That distance will be measured in equivalent diameters or DE. We will look at three equivalent duct diameters and zero equivalent duct diameters of straight flex duct going into the diffuser. Zero equivalent diameters is essentially a 90 degree elbow discharging straight into the diffuser. What they found was that for the three equivalent diameter installation, that the sound added ranged from negligible to only slight. Specifically, this type of installation added only 1 to 0 NC to the baseline or published data. As the distance of the straight duct shortens, though, the sound increases. At zero equivalent diameters of straight flex duct, the sound was found to increase between 6 and 9 NC. Fourth case is exactly like the third case, only an opposed blade damper was added to the installation. At three equivalent diameters, it was found that the damper was responsible for adding between 5 and 8 NC to the baseline sound data. When zero equivalent diameters were tested, the sound add was between 5 and 10 NC. It is interesting that in both these cases, the low end of the sound data is the same and only a small difference at the high end. Putting the data for the third case and the fourth case side by side points out some interesting trends. Notably, with no damper, there is little difference between the standard 70 installation and the three equivalent duct diameter installation, but there is a jump when you go to the zero equivalent duct diameter installation. When you add the opposed plate damper, the jump in sound happens at the three equivalent duct diameter installation. Also noteworthy is that with zero equivalent duct diameter or a 90 degree elbow leading straight into the diffuser, the sound add for with and without a damper is essentially the same. The takeaways that we get from this is twofold. First is that inlet conditions do have an effect on the overall system and thus we stress the importance of following good practices when using flex duct. Secondly, adding a damper affects the sound. And whereas we didn't discuss pressure in this podcast, the pressure also sees similar effects. We encourage you to resist the practice of putting a damper on everything and instead evaluate if one is really necessary. If it is necessary, considering putting it further up the ductwork instead of right behind the diffuser, if this is a sound sensitive application. A product that is available that might help with the elbows would be the Titus Flexiboot or Titus Flexrite. These products help make sure that the flex duct doesn't get pinched at the elbows and helps improve performance in tight spaces. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking the time out with us.